from the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is Thai Cats Today with Braden Neville. Hello and welcome to Thai Cats Today on another beautiful sunny May day in the city of Hamilton. I'm Braden Neville and thank you for joining me here on the Thai Cats Audio Network. The Thai Cats were back at it for day two of training camp and morales were high all day. Spirits were high around the Thai Cats team. They were practicing hard, getting in that work. And you know what? You can tell guys are genuinely having fun out there. They're excited to be back on the field playing football. It was also Ticats Media Day today, so all the guys were getting in some headshots, some video shoots, and it was a busy day, um, to say the least. All days of camp are open to the public, so if you want to come check out the, the practice, make your way to Ron Joy Stadium at McMaster University and get a look at this year's group. Uh, I got the chance to talk to Coach O today after day two of camp. Just to check in with how things have been going after those first couple of days. First couple of days of training camp down now. How important are these first few days to kind of set the tone for the rest of camp? I think it's extremely important. And again, I, I, I can't really answer it uh, any more creatively that, you know, I just think that it's our job to set the expectations and it's their job to set the standard. And that's what we're doing. Right, we're figuring out our 2023 football team and trying to get evaluations at the same time. So it's, it's, it is about winning that day, but it's also about getting stuff in at a rate that's going to help us prepare for opening day against Winnipeg, not just against you know, our first preseason game against Toronto. So, um, yeah, enjoying the process. Now, it looks like there's almost like there's that excitement out there with the guys. It seems like the guys are having a lot of fun. Is it important just for the guys to enjoy themselves out there? I think so. It's a game. Uh, it's, it's all how we feed our family, though. We understand that it's about winning's fun. That's, that's what's fun. So let's not, let's not get it twisted. But if you think you can just be, you know, toe the line the whole time for 24 weeks, uh, we're dealing with people. That would be tough in any business, right? So I think there is a, a, something to be said for having a little bit of fun. You go when, when you go heavy. Uh, when you go pads. It's a, uh, we'll go a power tomorrow. Power tomorrow. We'll go a power tomorrow. Uh, we may pad up tomorrow. How much more of an indicator is, is, is power and pads? Or is that more of an indicator? Yeah, some players playing? shine a little bit more yeah. outside of pads. Some shine more in pads. Uh, obviously, we won't take anybody to the ground, but it's important that they loosen up and and uh, and get going, right? That's one thing that you can't prepare them for is the contact, right? right. So I think it's important to have some. <laughs> Uh, but we also know that, you know, the best kind of ability uh, is availability. So you don't want to beat them up, but you also have to prepare them to go to battle. That was Coach O, and it'll certainly ramp things up a bit when uh, the guys go padded out there and we start seeing a little more physicality at practice, a little more fire. So thanks to Coach again uh, for joining me after Ticats practice today. Always great to catch up with the one and only Coach O. Chris Edwards, what is there to say about this guy that already hasn't been said? He's a gamer. And fans around the league know the name Chris Edwards. And you know what the guy can bring to any team's defense. Edwards is coming off a great cup in Toronto last season and has made his way down the QEW to join the Ticats. And hopefully, hopefully bring that winning pedigree here to Hamilton. I got the chance to talk to him following practice today about becoming a Hamilton Ticat and bringing that aggressiveness on the field to this defense. So your first couple of days here uh, with the Ticats and training camp under wraps, how's it been so far? Oh, it's been fun. It's been good. Just feel good to be back, you know, work on the basics, work on the fundamental uh, football with my new teammates and new coaches. And you've made your way down the QEW, uh, new, new uniform this year. Just talk to me a little bit about um, signing here in Hamilton and your thought process behind that. Uh, well, you know, they already had it. You know, they made it to the Great Cups the two previous years before we won in Toronto. So, you know, I already knew it was a well-established franchise, you know, organization. So when the, when the opportunity arose in the offseason, I just took it. It was mutual interest between the coaches and me. We just made it happen, so I'm here now. Uh, so morning, Lawrence was talking about you yesterday, uh, saying you guys are locker mates. Um, it seems like you're starting to already build that chemistry with the defense. How important is it to kind of get that started early? Oh, that's definitely important. And, and, and speaking of Simone, me and him kind of got the same mentality, you know, play style, like, you know, aggressive guys. You know, we kind of loud out there, but we make plays. So I'm excited to team up with him and make some plays for the team. How would you describe – I mean, that's a, that's a very tough position. Like, well, how would you describe – your approach to that position. Uh, speaking on the Sam position? Yes. Uh, my approach is I just play fast. You know, I just want to play fast, make the decision easy for the guys behind me because I got free safeties, strong hats and everything. So I just want to react fast, 
play aggressive, make it easier for the defense. Everybody can react. There may be more, there may be more reads on that position than any position on the field, right? Yes. Okay, would, you, would you say that's fair? Yes, but I have some experience. You know, I've been playing up here in Canada for about six years now, so I got experience at the position. So it's, it's just new lingo, new terminology, but, you know, football is the same everywhere. So I'm just learning it and how to play fast. That's it. I mean, it's not a position that translates from the United States usually, right? That Sam is a different kind of spot. Yes, it is a different kind of spot. But I, I sort of played the nickel down south. Right. So that's kind of what it is. I'm used to playing next to the Mike Backer, the wheel on the other side. So it's pretty similar. How many years were you fully a Sam? Uh, six. All, all six, right? All six so I've been a Sam. Sam. Yes, sir. So, and you expect to bring in aggressiveness. I mean, oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, that's what the, that's what the coach is like. That's what the, that's the kind of defense we got. Fast, aggressive defense. So, I feel like that's the best way for us to execute. That was one of the newest members of the Tie Cats, Chris Edwards. And I know a lot of people like me are looking forward to seeing him out there next to Simone Lawrence and the rest of that Tie Cats defense because I think they can cause some serious problems for opposing offenses this season. One guy looking to make a bigger impact this year in his second year in the league, is Lawrence Woods. He put up some solid kick return and punt return numbers last year, averaging 13 yards a punt for 807 yards. And who can forget that 70-yard kickoff return against Edmonton or the 88-yard punt return against Calgary? The guy makes game-changing plays. I asked him about where that explosiveness on returns comes from, but I also asked him about potentially being depended more at the corner this season as there is a chance we could see him as a key player on that Ticats secondary and what he's been doing to get that opportunity this upcoming season. So Lawrence, um, first year last year, um, you're looking to step up your role this year on defense. Um, talk to me a little bit about uh, what you've been working on in the offseason to prepare for that. Uh, I've really just been working on playing my, my corner technique of eyes and just like the basics of just like trying to make sure like when I when I did come to camp I was ready to like come up and step up for the position that was um, open you know type of thing so a lot of a lot of uh, footwork drills a lot of like just going back to the basics with like my technique so I could be the best when I came here and like be able to play fast first couple of days now of training camp finished uh what's it been like out there with you and the rest of the guys oh man it's been fun it's been a lot of it's been good I think we uh synchronizing up a lot better and a lot like a lot more and then like we just the energy is a little different, you know, and it's like I'm really liking this. And then uh, I feel like me and the, the field have uh, Leonard, we starting to connect more and like we starting to know each other. So we starting to play even better and playing like on the same core type of thing. And that's just going across the whole defense type of thing. So it's been fun going out there with the guys. So last year you were you returned a lot of kicks. Um, just talk to me a bit about that part of your game and what makes you so explosive uh, returning those kicks. Uh, I, I really, honestly, my track background really, you know, and then it's more of just like me wanting to play to be the best person in the role that I'm in. You know, I'm a role player and I, I understand that. So it's like I want to be the best I can at whatever role I am, you know. So at return, I say, okay. My, my initial is to get 10 yards, and then after that, it's just like run. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That whatever happens, happens. You know, it's just like a don't think too much and just go out there and really just have fun, you know, because that's all it is. It's football. It's all a game, you know, but at the same time, we, we're here to win. So. A lot of new faces out there. Just talk about getting that chemistry with maybe some of those new players uh, early on here in training camp. No, definitely, and that's that's one big thing. So like, I feel like standing at McMaster, all this like being around in the dorms really like bring us together, and like, cause then like we could, hey, hey, let's go hit the field, or hey, let's go to the, let's go down to the meeting room or something, just go like look at film, look over a couple plays type of thing, and it's like, uh, I feel like even though like I'm I'm a young DB. According to Hamilton, I feel like the younger guys still look at me as a vet. So it's like being able to like let them know like the shortcomings that I had last year and giving them a heads up like, hey, look, watch out for this. Hey, look, watch out for that. Do you uh, stay in Hamilton in the offseason? Uh, yeah. So well, I'm in. Well, right now I'm based in Detroit, so three hours away. Yeah. But uh, most time I I try to come up at least a couple times in the offseason just to like do a couple uh, uh kids camps and go to schools and stuff like that because like. I really enjoy that out of more, I ain't gonna say more than football, but like on almost the same level because it's just like giving, I like giving back. 
and so so being back here now, I guess full time in the city. What's that been like? Just getting to, you know, reunite yourself with uh, the city of Hamilton. Oh no, it's been fun, man. Like I've been a couple places, a couple guys, a couple people that noticed me, type of thing, and mm -hmm. you know that always boosts your morale, you know, because like you're like, oh, they actually know who I am, type of thing, and like it's been fun. I I go a couple, go around and go to a couple, like go get some food and stuff, and just chat up with a, not, a lot of nice people, a lot of different people, like, and then walking my dogs, I meet a lot of people too. So like. That's definitely fun and like the admin like yeah, it's gonna be bad everywhere, but like you make the good of everything, you know what I'm saying? So Of course, of course. So, so it seems like guys are having a lot of fun out there. You're noticing in drills, guys are cheering, you know, they're they're getting excited. Just how important is it just to have fun out there, you know, these first couple days? It's the, it's honestly one of the most important things because I was I say it's like it's the first week, first week and a half is hard. It's it's a lot of a lot of reps, a lot of a lot of hours like um on the field, off the field, in the in the rooms, watching film. So like, if you're not having fun with it, it's gonna you gonna be a, bur a burden. You know what I'm saying? You gonna you gonna complain. You gonna complain in soft ears. And it's like, we ain't got time for that. And so we we rather just have fun with it. You have fun, you gonna fly. You gonna run fast. You gonna just do do your thing. You know. Very nice to chat with Lawrence Woods, and also thank you to Coach O and Chris Edwards for giving me some time today as well. Tie Cats fans, remember tickets are on sale now. So make sure to go and get your tickets for the games this season. Go cheer on your Hamilton Tiger Cats. And also, if you're looking for that swag, you want some of that merch, the Tiger Cats shop is now open and they have a whole new inventory with tons of new stuff to get you looking good for game day. Whether you're watching here at the stadium or watching at home, you'll be able to rep your team with some of the new swag that they have out. So make sure to stop by to get your new fits and look good. For the season. I want to thank you for joining me today on Tie Cats today on the Tie Cats Audio Network and make sure to tune in next time. I'm Braden Neville and thank you for listening.